Welcome to Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have a new familiar face here in the City of Champions. We have Bishop Tony Branch. Welcome, Tony. Thank you for having Good me, to Mark. See you. Always best dressed, got the bow tie I on. I try. I try. Someday I'll learn. I'm lucky I can tie one of these. Um, Thank you. Tony, you, you're very involved in Brockton. Yes. One of the things you're involved in, um, one of the multitude of things, is the NAACP. Yes. Here, the Brockton area chapter, the South area chapter. And there's a new initiative that the branch has started within the last couple of months dealing with prostate cancer awareness. Correct. Okay. Um, besides the regular monthly meetings and the executive board meetings that you folks have, now there's a whole new initiative. I think it was kicked off the day of the breakfast, the day Correct. of the Martin Luther King breakfast. Correct. What's the NAACP trying to do? Well, let me tell you what we've, we've found out in terms of looking at health statistics in Plymouth County and specifically a uh, large population of, of men of color, uh, of African men of color in the uh, city of Brockton. They have a higher level of death rates with respect to uh, prostate cancer. We found that to be alarming. Uh, so we began a health initiative, as you know, the kickoff was at the MLK breakfast. Uh, the rate is so high, it's like two to one, I believe, to our, our, our white male counterparts. Uh, so that's very concerning. What we're trying to do is awareness. And what is awareness? To let people know that there is a, a, a epidemic among black men in our community with respect to prostate cancer, and that we're hoping that as they visit their physicians, uh, they will ask that they be uh, tested both the, uh, uh, the blood test and with respect to having the more uh, evasive, uh, invasive action, excuse me, mm -hmm. around that particular test that a lot of men do not want to have. But the fact remains is that if you get this test, you can survive this particular cancer. Mm -hmm. And what we're concerned about is people aren't getting the test. Now, listen, I've spoken to uh, physicians, spoken to other community leaders, you know, we have a large part of our population that's incarcerated. We have a large part of our population that is underinsured. We have a large part of our population where it, it, they have this, that I'm not going to go to the doctors. And what we're trying to tell people is that on this particular issue, if you're able to get to a physician, able to get screened, it will save your life. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's why the NAACP has kicked off this awareness. And I think that we're going to be successful, and quite frankly, in saving people's lives. Now, what was the response the day of the breakfast? Uh, the breakfast, you know, started about 9 in the morning. Right. It was over about 12, 12.30. The, the initiative was, I believe, at 1 o'clock. Correct. Right at the, was it at the Shaw Center? It, right was, it was at the Shaw Center. Uh, light, light refreshments. We gave, um, we did an educational piece, and we did a Q&A with the physicians that were there. Um, I would have loved to have seen the turnout to be higher, realizing that it was a long day. But we believe that people that left there um, with brochures, with information, went back to their family members. Quite frankly, if it's a small group that's able to go out and make people aware of what's going on with respect to uh, prostate cancer, we believe that we're becoming successful. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be more dates and places and times. We don't have them at the moment. Correct. But um, the NAACP, if I'm not mistaken, they have a regular general members meeting. Correct. I think it's the fourth the, Monday uh, of the month. The fourth Monday of the month. And what we're doing is that we now have a health committee that's focused on this particular issue and will expand out to uh, focus on other health issues that are impacting our community. Now, is it the type of thing where people go to the doctor when they do go to the doctor? Right. And yeah. you know, I'm someone that... If, if I didn't have a medical condition, right. I probably wouldn't go. Right, right. But I have to go on a regular basis or my nurse practitioner won't renew my medicine. That's right. how she gets me to come. Right, right. Okay. Um, and it's effective. It is effective. It is effective. She's just like, uh, you, CVS isn't going to call me with the pharmacy. Right. Right. Unless I go <laughs> right, 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 right. But right. this is not exactly like you said. You're talking about an in, one part of it is an invasive test. Correct. Talk about the blood test part, though, because what I, I'm... I'm not even aware of that. Right. I, I'm being fairly educated, but I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. So the blood test gives you your number. There is a certain number uh, with respect to the, the antigens that are in your system. If I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. I'm not a physician. And if, you, if the number is very low, and I don't have the, the scale particularly with me today, but if the scale is low, then you're fine. If it's a higher number, then, then there is some concern. And what I suggest for people to do is just 
this Google prostate cancer awareness, prostate cancer testing, and they will be able to see what the national standard is of where their number should be in comparison to what's happening when they're getting their blood test. And quite frankly, the physicians have these scales. I've gone and visited uh, a few clinics uh, since we've done this awareness. They usually have the scale on their wall, and they even have a suggestion, uh, African-American males 40, African-American males 50, uh, what they should be doing with respect to this particular uh, epidemic. So how early would somebody want to get tested? I, I believe I had a test when I was 40. Right. So if, well, if, if it's running in your family, it's 40. If it's not running in your family and your PSA is not increasing, then it is, in fact, 50 years old. Okay. So um, basically get educated. Um, I'm assuming, I don't know if that's the right thing to do, that um, you're going to reach out a little deeper in, on the show, the NAACP Forum. I am. They have much more talk details. talk about this in, in, right. in, in, in depth. Now, partners in Brockton, mm -hmm. I, Good Samaritan, you mentioned Good Samaritan, before. Good Samaritan Hospital is, um, and they have actually placed it on the website. They partnered with us, and we thank them for their good work. Um, and what we ask is that the people just go to their particular website, look at uh, prostate cancer awareness, and see the services that they're offering. I'm not sure what Brockton Hospital is doing. I think they may be doing a piece later on. But again, this is a partnership, uh, hopefully, that will be a, a part of the hospital continuum in this particular city. So I think we're hopeful. Okay. Um, is there anything, I mean, obviously it's for men, but is there anything the women can do to inform the men to get them to get the test and, and do what they push, need to do. Push your partners, yeah. your husbands, partners, boyfriend, to go out and get this test. Like you just said, a, a good thing about this is you begin that blood test at 40 or if it's running in your family, and then you again, you get the more invasive test at 50. Take them with, you're going to have to go there with them because they'll be under a bit of an anesthesia. So again, I think it's push, push, push. And we know that our mothers, our wives, our girlfriends, can push us to these, uh, push us in order to get these particular services, especially when you're looking at children. You look at your children, you say, hey, I got to get this done because you need to be there for them. Mm -hmm. Again, it saves lives. Now you said there's a committee being formed. There's already a, a health committee. committee now. Yes. Who, some of the people on it, just to tell the viewers out there, you know, from, well, I know Steve Bernard's the president of the Steve is, Steve's, uh Steve Bernard is on it. Leona Martin is on it. She has an extensive amount of uh, experience in health care. Phyllis is on it. So a lot of the NAACP members are on it. And what we encourage is to come on down and join us. Become a member. You can be on it as well. Uh, so it's very important that the community get involved and uh, participate in helping us save lives, especially around this issue or any other issue. Well, we will keep track of it. We'll find out more, and we'll have you back to give us an update. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.